Enough is enough. That's what county leaders are saying when it comes to gun violence across the nation. Erica Hernandez shares the steps now being taken to curb violence right here. Job that County shows. leaders are upset and angry, wanting change and wanting it now. A special session needs to be called now because in less than three months away, the fall school semester will begin. Several departments not waiting for the legislature to convene in January 2023, so they're implementing their own changes. Starting Monday, we are in every case where we handle a case involving a weapon and we have a successful pro prosecution, we will move to destroy every weapon. Gonzalez also saying that his office willing to prosecute cases dealing with people who have devices that modify guns from semi-automatic to automatic weapons. If you have that in your possession and that case is filed with us, we will prosecute you. The Perry County Sheriff's Office plans to offer more active shooter response and stop the bleed trading to civilians in schools, as well as more gear like shields and bulletproof vests for patrol deputies. County commissioners will be trying to pass more funding for mental health services, gun locks, and education and outreach programs for gun safety. They also made it clear that they will be reinforcing a policy that will not allow gun shows at any county property. Now, county commissioners will be taking up additional funding measures coming up in their next meeting on Tuesday. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.